All right, what's up, guys? So we're back with a short one. A little news update, though. Something interesting. Something a little... You might have seen it, you might have not. But let's just talk about it real quick. But uh, we've already known, you know, there's a lot of excitement going around in, F in uh, the FGC right now. we got Strive. we got all sorts of new games coming out. But one of them, in particular... You're getting a little hint from the song. But, of course, the new Melty, Type Lumina. So this, uh, if you kind of know my background, you know I'm a big Melty Blood... Guys, kind of how I got my start in the FGC. I, I traveled around the world, did all sorts of stuff for it. But, you know, there's new games coming out, and it looks very exciting. You know, it looks very, very exciting. But there's been a little bit of doubt, I would say. You know, there's been a little bit of doubt. Can the new Melty Blood actually succeed in the modern age? You know, it's a poverty game. You know, it's, not, it's coming on console. They need a strong leader. They need a strong leader. And, you know, well, I can only do, I can only do so much. They need someone on the inside here to really, you know... I'm just going to say, to save Melty. Luckily, we found out today, there is somebody. So who is it? Who is here to save Melty Blood? This man right here. Look at the guns on this man. Look at the size of this man. This absolute unit right here. Mr. Ono himself from Street Fighter or Capcom. Oh, and I got one. We got This man right here. He's electric right now. Mr. Ono right there. We got more. Hold on. We got one other one. Hold on. Hold on. Where's another This babe right here, man. With the dad bot out there. So based Ono, Ono himself. So if you don't know, if you're a brand new uh, fighting game person, you're not familiar with who this this, this man right is. Uh, his name is is Ono. So he's a long time Capcom employee. He's been involved with Capcom fighting games for a very very long time. Since what? Like I remember Capcom Fighting Jam. He was in Capcom Fighting Jam. He did other stuff too. But he's most known for Street Fighter Four. So he was the producer for Street Fighter 4. If you weren't around back then in 2019, you know, people always want to talk about, you know, the history of the, this game sucked, the Dark Ages, whatever. All I'll say is that Street Fighter 4 did a, a, a huge service for the, for the FGC. So while if you're playing anime games, you lived in Japan, you played Tekken, you know, things were fine. But outside of that, there was definitely kind of fighting games that are kind of on the back burner where everything else is getting big. So Ono got in there. Apparently, he pushed hard, too. He's one of the guys that was really pushing for Capcom to develop a fighting game, really put money and put time into it. And Street Fighter 4 was great. Street Fighter was great. It brought in a ton of new people, hence the, uh, you know, the, the term 09ers and stuff. It really brought Street Fighter and fighting games out into the mainstream. And then, of course, all the other games getting bigger. So he, he definitely did a lot. And I feel bad for him because I've met him. I've met him multiple times throughout the years. Multiple, multiple times. I've, I've interacted, talked with him. And I feel like now he kind of has a bad rap. You know, now that I've already seen some tweets talking about multi blood and they're saying stuff like, oh, my God, it's over. Like, oh, he ruined. He killed Street Fighter. That means he's going to kill multi blood or like he's a disgraced employee. He got fired from Capcom. I feel like towards the end, he became kind of a scapegoat, which is very sad to see because you know how big companies are. I think I talked about this in a different video, but, you know. Capcom's a huge company with many different divisions. You know, there's different groups making the games. There's different regions involved. He's just one guy. But it feels like whenever there's any problem with Street Fighter, people were like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's his fault. Point at him. So it, 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 it is really sad. So after he left Capcom, Street Fighter 5 is getting better now. It's getting better. And people are like, see, I told you. Because Ono is gone. The, the people that are in charge of Street Fighter were there the whole time. It's not. They didn't bring anybody new. It's the same dude. But whatever. Anyway, simping hard for Ono. But here's a tweet. This is uh, Dear FTC World Warriors. On May 1st, I'll be moving Capcom to another company. So he's going to a new company. Uh, he says it's a little bit different. So the company's called Delightworks right there. Uh, he's a follow-up here. So his past experiences with the FTC have been very exciting. Uh, he's looking forward to more growth in my new position. The image of my new company is green, so this part connected to Jimmy. That Jimmy is Jimmy right there. He's got Jimmy. He's got Jimmy with him. Uh, but he says it's going to be me and Dissin between me and uh, the FTC for a while, but he may be back. or He, he may be away, but he's going to come see us again. So why... Why am I talking about him and Melty Blood when this new company, Delightworks? Well, Delightworks is apparently the producer for Melty Blood. Whether that means Ono's going to be doing any direct work, we don't know. But apparently this company is producing the game. Now, I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but I, I've heard there's apparently there's an interview going around saying that uh, French Bread, the, you know, the crew that's making Melty Blood is like, apparently they're going to have their free reign, you know, they're going to be able to make the game how they want to make it, you know, the bounds and do what they want to do. I think Ono's company is going to help them kind of sell it and things like that. But this, this, uh, delight works. Who are these guys? Boom. This is them. So they're, they're the team behind FGO fate grand order. This is the most 
successful mobile game of all time in Japan, at least. It might be in the world, I don't know. The revenue of this game, that that was the record. You know, even though Grand Blue uh, was huge, a lot of people were saying Grand Blue is a better game than Fate. Fate especially had a, a really rough start. I remember when the game first came out, very, very negative reviews. People were like, this game sucks. But the earnings that it posted up were insane. I think it still might be number one. But so it's a very, very successful company with Fate Grand Order. But there's also some other drama that happened recently is this. So they put out Sakura Tyson, Sakura Woods, I think they call it. They put out this mobile game called Sucker Revolution. So ready? This is the most successful mobile game of all time. And this is the least successful mobile game of all time. This game apparently cost them like millions and millions and millions of dollars to make. Like it's super, super expensive. And it, it posted up nothing. It made no money and they shut it down. So they just threw all their money. It's gone. They, it's already finished. Less than a year. So they, they ruined that game. So it feels like maybe they got lucky. Who knows? Like I was saying, this game too at the start did not have good reviews at all. I feel like this game was carried by the fate, not the game, but it was carried by the uh, the IP at the start, man. But now it's huge. We'll see. But there we go. I just want to share that. So if, if you see any memes coming up in the future about Melty Blood and oh no, 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 no. Now you know who he is. You know who this guy is. He's this muscular man. He's going to put Melty Blood on his back right there and carry us. It's, again, talking about him being a scapegoat, he, he was actually like hospitalized a few times from overwork not just working hard, he used to travel. So not only was the producer, he also turned into like the, what's it called? Brand character, the brand character or something. I don't know, but he was like the face of Street Fighter. So he used to travel all over, all across the world. He would go to like every event. He, I, I, like, I met him across the world. Whenever I go do commentary, I, I was in like the middle of China in this, this strange village and he's just out there. I was like, God damn, almost everywhere. But he was traveling around the world. Then he had to deal with his work in Japan and he had to be the scapegoat. He was hospitalized multiple times. What I'm hoping is that his new job will be a lot less stressful for him. He can kind of just enjoy work, stay in the games, and hopefully there's none of you guys bullying him. Like you're bullying him hard with Street Fighter. But yeah, so, oh no, congratulations. Best of luck to you. And I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the new Melty Blood. Please do a good job though. Don't put in too much gotcha systems here. I know you guys are trying to get money, but let's have a good old honest fighting game. No gotcha for costumes, no gotcha for colors, please. But anyway, there you go. If you're still watching, thank you. Leave a comment. What do you think about Ono? What's your favorite Ono quote? Kage? Kage? Cage? The Aris one? I don't know. What's your favorite Ono quote? Favorite Ono moment? I don't know. You can try writing it. But uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. The living room? Yeah. Hey, don't make fun of his English. Not everybody can be trilingual like me, you know? I, I got the I got the perfect English, Japanese, and Spanish. I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. No, but imagine that. Imagine if you had to go speak a, a foreign language that you didn't know in front of Tens of thousands of people. Hundreds of thousands even for some big one. I, I, I speak Spanish by myself in my room. If they're like, Junior, go on stage. We're going to send you to Brazil. We're going to put you in front of the game convention. It's going to be 100,000 people there. And we need you to speak Portuguese. I'm like, I don't know any Portuguese. <laughs> I would sound just as, uh, just as hilarious. Stop bullying. But anyway, all right, we're rambling. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.